These are the motors that came with the kit. Look at the ones that I got. And another very helpful tip is to file like that. Initiating. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Monday, another day, another chance to push hard. And the topic for this one is lead screws and coupling. So let's get it. But before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my life special and worth living to the max. So let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. So in my last vlog, you can check it out right here. When I assembled the frame, I came to the conclusion that I need to alter the lead screws, which I did just now because these lock rings well the screws they need to go a bit deeper so that they don't scratch the surface and that's basically the plan this is a little screw this is the lead screw right here and the plan was to file out well to remove this section right here these are the measurements in millimeters if you're interested and well that's what it looks like in reality that was the first one right here this one this one is fairly deep actually a bit too deep then I made these two it was a bit harder than expected so it's not looking that pretty but at least it's working now and this is the last one just like that I use a diamond saw blade for that and then I use a file I was actually able to use a regular file and these two right here to be specific it worked fairly good yeah now I'm actually able to insert the lead screws and actually try putting on the motor so let's go Just inserted the lead screw and check this out. This, well, these are the motors that came with the kit and compared to a NEMA 17 motor, well, it's not, it's not that big of a difference. These are NEMA 23 and well, look at the ones that I got. Oh my God, this might be actually yet another problem because they are insanely heavy compared to this little bugger right here. But well, let's just try to put it on. And well, the shaft, on this one is 6 mil and the one on this is 8 mil. So that's yet another thing that I need to do. I need to drill out these flexible couplings. So let's hope for the best that this will work out like, like a breeze. I guess, well, let's just go for it. Okay, so drilling them was an absolutely horrible experience and they turned out equally horrible. I probably have to order new ones, but they might do for now. So this is a good one and this is a <laughs> This is the worst. This one is quite okay as well. And then this one is, yeah, it's like bad, but like this one is ridiculous. <laughs> Freaking heck. But well, I did it. Now I have no other choice than to use the fat motors. So let's do this. I'm already done with the y-axis that's the gantry x-axis and well I'm actually able to file off this lead screw for some reason I wasn't able to do it with this one but these two work and another very helpful tip is to file like that because this will make the fitting process very easy because this way you can position the lock fairly precisely and yeah it just makes it easy i'm fixing it in place like that and then i'm screwing it on which will give it pressure in this direction bend it slightly but this way there is no play oh my god i'm so done i think i worked around six hours maybe more maybe less well on this project and well let me recap the progress. All in all, it's not too bad actually. It's way more work than expected again. I used two messed up couplings on here basically. And as you can see, I stretched them out a bit so that it's not on the tightest spot. It's still, there is still room here. Don't know how else to explain this. But yeah, as you can see on this side, well, <laughs> it's looking pretty horrible. And I probably have to order new ones, but you know, Maybe it will work just like that, we will find out. I also cleaned up a bit. I still need this plate for the floor, well, for the build plate. That's why I haven't assembled 
the Z axis, I will get to the floor right in my next vlog and it's also not angled up at this moment. So my idea is to hook up a steel cable right here. Don't know yet if this will work or not, maybe, hopefully. But yeah, X gantry done, that's like done as well. Steel cable needs to go there, then I will be able to mount these two. And on top of that will be the build plate, MDF plates basically. Then I will get to the Z axis and I also need to work out something for the spindle. But yeah, it's definitely not too bad, not too bad. So yeah, that's enough progress for today. Smash that like button the way I just smashed the motors on the build. Bang the bell like crap so that you never miss CNC build updates. Check the recent news on chrisviral.com and yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.